October 29th. Lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. Matthew 28, 20. Omnipresence is an attribute of deity ascribed to Christ. We would not refer the reader to two portions of Scripture for proof. They both run in parallel lines with each other. In Matthew 18.20, we have this encouraging declaration from Christ, where two or three are gathered together in my name. There I am in the midst of them. Compare this with Exodus 20.24. In all places where I record my name, I will come unto you and will bless you. Thus the reader will perceive that the identical promise which God gave to his ancient church when he established her in the wilderness, when he gave to her the law, built for her the tabernacle, and instituted for her a sacrifice, the Lord Jesus makes of himself. Souling thought. Jesus is with his saints at all times, in all places, and under all circumstances. He is God with us. He is with them to comfort them in the hour of sorrow, to enlighten them in the hour of darkness, to guide them in the hour of doubt and perplexity, to deliver them in the time of conflict, to support them in the hour of death. Oh, for faith to realize this, he was with his three faithful servants in the fiery furnace. He was with Daniel in the lion's den. He was with Jacob in his wrestlings at Bethel. He was with John in his exile at Patmos. Jesus is at all times, in all places, and under all circumstances with his dear people. Reader, are you a child of sorrow? Perhaps you are a son of a daughter of affliction. You may now be passing through the furnace. You may now be draining adversity's bitter cup. The rod of the covenant may be heavy upon you. Friends, unkind, the world empty, everything earthly changing. Faith weak, corruption strong, and what embitters the cup and deepens the shade. Your father hiding from you his dear reconciled face. Is it so? Still is your omnipresent Jesus with you. Do not be cast down. This furnace is but to consume the tin and burnish the gold. This draught is but to work your inward good. These painful dispositions by which you are learning the changeableness of everything earthly are but to wean you from a poor, unsatisfying world and to draw you near and yet nearer to Jesus. Then be of good cheer, For he has promised never to leave or forsake you, so that you may boldly say, The Lord is my helper.